Hello everyone, this is Deepak. In our last tutorial, we created a simple hello world program and also executed it from the command prompt. Now that you would also have created your own hello world application and perhaps even compiled it and run it, you might be wondering how does it work. Let's have a look at code again. Now this was a simple hello world program that had single main method with a single statement that printed hello world. Let's understand the nitty gritties of this program. In this hello world program, the first keyword which we have written is public. Whenever a class is public, it means that the class is visible to others or external applications. The class is keyword in Java used to create a class. Here we have created a class with the name program. The main method is essentially an entry point for the Java program. This method here accepts a single argument, which is an array of strings. Now this is a way by which runtime is able to pass some information to the program. These are also called as command line arguments. The single statement that we have written in our hello world program is system.out.println hello world. Now system is a class from core library. What we are doing here is using the method println from this core library and passing it a message hello world so that it prints it on the console window. Now let's understand two more things that are essential for Java programming. A lot of times you would like to describe the program behavior in form of comments. Java allows you to specify single line comment by typing slash slash and the single line comment. Similarly, we also have a provision of multi line comments in Java. Let's try this out. Now this was our hello world program. And let's create a single line comment. This is single line comment. And this is a multi line comment. Right? Lot of times IDEs will allow you to create comments which will help in generating a documentation. Those comments are of this kind. We will learn how to create Java documentation in detail in our coming tutorials. Let's compile this program. So right now I have a single program.java file and I am using Java compiler Java C to compile this program. And as we have discussed in our last tutorial, this step generates a dot class file which contains the bytecode and I can execute this bytecode by typing java program. So the presence of command doesn't impact the behavior of the java application. The compiler silently ignores anything after slash slash or anything between multiline comments. I hope this is clear. In this tutorial, we understood the nitty gritties of hello world program. We also learned how to add comments in our Java application. Next tutorial is going to be extremely important because we are going to understand the basic tenets of classes and objects. We will also learn what are static and instance variables, something about attributes and methods and also access modifiers. So stay tuned. See you there.